my one note on this is the overcorrection can be worse and we have mm. to be very careful on not blanket demonization of so not all people who enter canada who have been immigrated in the last five years will be the same kind of personalities the same kind of um you have a whole range of, of people so you can't of course even as we're seeing an increase of like some of these uh some of these issues we can't just we can't go on a witch hunt we can't go of course we can't paint everybody with the same brush and i think any calls for like mass deportations like without any due process like mm. we're the we're going backwards if we're going to be at that point but we should at least well, that's of course yeah. pause and yeah. then reevaluate and or like it it's not wrong to say like well maybe a good background check is a smart idea before letting anybody in as a permanent resident and if somebody yeah. has something outstanding in another country, maybe we should bump them to the lower list, or maybe we should be like very diligent about these. Like that would be addressing some things from the the source. If if in Europe right now, if these random attacks are increasing, or like the you have countries like Denmark, who at one point were ninety nine percent of one demographic, and now they have a mixed demographic, and the crimes. And the attacks are not coming from the demographic that used to. It's from a new demographic. So well, and and that's that's a it's an excellent point, and it's something that um, it's actually uh, it's it's surprising to me that more people don't see this, but it's actually it's actually more racist to believe that we can't talk about these things that we we just notice with our own eyes. Um, for fear of people extrapolating that to mean that when I say that statistically in England, uh, the, the, the most public female, uh, abuse, uh, and rape and beatings are, are happening from Pakistani Muslims as a fact, as a, as a cold statistic to then assume that, well, well, what you are saying is that all Pakistani men are Muslim rapists and human traffickers. Well, that isn't what I'm saying. So it's of course important to recognize that the, the overwhelming majority of people from any place on earth are good, decent people who don't do these things. But the fact still remains that there are places in the world that are well behind the West in their treatment of women and their treatment of minorities of, of, uh, alternative sexualities and lifestyles and they have not caught up to us in the west and when they come here those particular those that small minority of people if you import enough of them of course you're going to run into the ones who do behave in this way and who do act in this very uh, destructive and disgusting manner so noticing it doesn't mean that you're noticing that you're that you're making a blanket blanket statement nor does it mean that it's appropriate in any way to demonize anyone from anywhere who hasn't done anything wrong. So thank you for bringing up that point. I think we're both on the same page with yeah, that. Yeah, it's good, good to keep that balance. So yeah.